Morning guys, it's uh, Monday, Monday, I finished work this morning, <laughs> I don't know what day is it, 11th, 10th, it's Monday that one, I'm um, just come up for a couple of hours, have a look around and see what's been damaged, I was out night shift last night, but it was lashing doing the snow and hail, it's a little bit wet, oh yeah, he's in the canyon, <laughs> he's in the canyon, he's in the stop if you're going to level pass, so I thought this isn't going to be good, so I'll just give you a quick uh, update of, uh, this is part one of a few clips, <laughs> right I'll spin you around, hair's been shaved off as you can see the blonde's still in but it's all gone. Well I think if this uh, this comes through it'll be a massive tomato sorry, the stem on that. Just like one big bud at the very top. And the rest are little spindly things here, like normal. And that one's massive. Could be a world breaker. Look who decided to pay my shed a visit. <laughs> He's there. And all the food is through there. So close. It's so far away, little friend. But unfortunately, you're a nemesis. Time to go. Well, as you can see, pigeons have had a go with kale. So, and replant some more. They might come back, but I'll give them a chance. Buckers. Little tit. Are you gonna go in? Take a few steps back. Must have chicks because it's got food in its mouth. Morning guys, well I see you morning, it's afternoon, just finished before four night shifts and it's uh, Monday the 19th, blonde hair is gone as you can see, so not be doing that ever again. I uh, just thought I'd come up and I haven't put a video on for a while so I'll show you where I'm up doing what I'm doing today, planting me Brussels out and get me... Ooh. Kyle, the squash, courgettes. The courgettes off Dave have come smashing because, uh, well, the better seeds than having the ones I had that were washed away. Um, I'm just looking around the pigeons, as you've seen, I've had me kale, so I've got four more which I'm going to pop out um, as a replacement. And it's it's starting to get to the point where everything's got to go out. So I'll. Uh, I'll spin you around and show you where we're at. <coughs> well, that's it. That's just a couple of hours. <coughs> Look. But I've just spotted more bloody potato plants coming through. And carrot bed. It's a relentless battle, which I shall not lose. Still not go to the dark side or the potato side. Starting to come up sides here and over there. Well, give you a quick rundown of where I'm at. Salad leaves, still alright. But we'll do here like, but my spinach, some of it's going to seed, which is expected. There's still a couple of pots which are alright. And um, these are the query butternut squash stroke. Maria Chagio stroke Itchy Curry. <laughs> so goodness knows what they are. These are my cherry tomatoes which are transplanted. They come around smashing. I, I always plant them a little bit late because I want them ready for when I clear this place out. Yeah, so most had the 
spring onions are looking a bit uh, half horsedly. These are just spring cabbage, some more spring cabbage. These beans are yard long beans, so might be up for a show for them. Melons, looking lovely. They're coming on champion. I see more cucumber. Yeah, sorry, there's a cucumber, more tomatoes. I have one safflower. So I might give it a go. I'm worried it's going to be a weed, but who knows. These will be going out soon. The um, celery. The spare kale here. Spare celery, which I'm just going to get rid of. There's a couple of more hanging planters with my strawberries in for next year. Peas, second set of peas are coming along smashing. Banana plant is pretty much exactly how it was. It's never changed. Here's a palm sitting in that corner. Look at that. <laughs> uh, these are just a couple of Roma and Mamandi. I've come to the conclusion these are not cherry tomatoes purely because the thickness of that stem, sorry, up there. Is far too thick for a cherry tomato. So there must be my Mandy's because that was the only other ones I saw. Chilies, jalapeno, chocolate harab habino, something I can't really think of the names. So they all looking great, my son, for us. I'm getting a canny tall. Ooh, I have to keep heat button this roof. Some more chilies and peppers in the back. Oh, so they need to go in some water. So I'll sort them out once this video has stopped. Some lettuce. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Cucumbers, there's me. Little rit things. Anti, anti stem rot devices. Petunias are looking lovely. They're getting some height on them. The spare kale. You'll see why I need spare kale in a minute. Dahlias are looking lovely. Three sets of dahlias. These are my butternuts. Some herbs. I just have some more herbs, but I don't know where they are. Oh, they're back there. Somewhere. They're knocking about somewhere. Oh, there they are. So they're parsley and they're coriander. The strawberries. I say I'm collecting the strawberries for next year. This is my albino nasturtium, which is probably going to die, but... A spare gem lettuce and some dahlias and a spare cucumber. Yeah, I'm collecting all my strawberries because I'm going to clear out the strawberry beds next year. That'll be too dark for you to see doing there. You can see it's... Yeah, I don't know if you can. Slowly, slowly chipping away, but I've had to stop because I can't take any stuff to the tip. Ow, I've just stuck my bloody finger on a nail. <gasps> that nerd. I'll have to remember that. See there? Oh, yeah, sod. So we'll come outside. Carrots are looking great. They're coming on smashing. Sweet peas that have grown up here are looking lovely. We garlic. I think my garlic's coming to the end of its days. Not be long that'll be coming out. I bet you. I've just filled up my barrels, but I can hear this. Listen. My chicks are singing. I think the garlics are coming because I've got the um, you know, stay, oh, you what the call man, scapes. That's it. There's loads of scapes coming. There's another one there, so they'll be ready soon. I've took a few of the top of the the winter seed, the rhubarb. So I've took some off the top. Let some air uh, water get to it. Some air uh, get to it. Gales took them. Here's my seed onions for seed. So they've gone to seed, which is good. Some onions here. Potatoes there, the giant ones that were that were in there. So they're looking good. All the, all the onions are looking spotty dog. There's a couple of light blanks. The pigeons have picked a few up. Here yeah, we've got balotis. My French beans haven't come through, so sorry not my French beans, my runner beans. So I'm going to put the blotties here, and then here I'm going to put my dwarf wrench. These, I'm going to weed this tomorrow. The onions are there. Second potatoes, second first earlies, second earlies. They're all good. Frost hasn't 
bother doing at all. Slight frost damage. Yeah. Here's my gem lettuce. Gem lettuce. My turnips, which I've had a couple. As you can see through there. That one's nearly ready. So I'll be harvesting a couple of them. Spring cabbage is still growing in between all the dandelions. <laughs> Oh, just drop the brick on my foot. Let's have a look in here. Pause you a second. So here we are. These are, like I say, my Mandy. I thought they were golden sunrise, whatever they're called. Tomatoes. Spare grapevine. I've put the other one in there. The roots are on the outside and I've fed it through the greenhouse. This, the polytunnel, sorry. The peas at the back are shooting away. And these are all my Roma. They're all curled because... It's been a bit dry. I've been soaking it. I need a weed in between. I kind of get the hoe in. So I'm going to have to hand weed them tomorrow. But as you can see, all the leaves are curling up because they're just not getting enough water. But you don't mind the water inside the pot. So I don't know what to do. I've given them a feed. Clearly not enough. The strawberry beds. That one at the bottom's got minimal amount of strawberries in. So I was tempted to actually dig them up the day, but no, I've left it. Same as this, it's more, but a cup of them, strawberries. But I've decided next year that's going to be the strawberry bed. I'm going to have it like full, full per row all the way up. And cover it weed suppressant and this is going to be dug up. And that's going to be a, a, a fruit bed. Potatoes are smashing. I've had a few radish from the end. Courgettes, lovely. I'm trying celeriac, never had it before. There's me parsnips, broad beans, and uh, comfrey. I've planted some more parsnips in here just to see if they'll grow up through the hills. Still need ducks, as you know, all the ducks died. All 16 eggs didn't come through, so I've got another 16 on the go, which I'll have probably put on already. Pond's looking lovely. And there's, it's full of tadpoles. Tadpole snails and a couple of newts. And I'll make up here. I want to get rid of some of this rubbish because they're starting to open up the tips now, so I'm going to start getting rid of some of it. Then I need to start making my second bin. This I need a weed. It's going to be my squash bed. And this will be the second squash bed. I don't want to make this one a squash bed. And the one all the way at the top of a squash bed so they don't cross pollinate. I'm still deciding on that one. So, Brussels sprouts are in there. I've only just planted them out a couple of days ago. So not much is happening here. But if you look at me, broccolis, you see the heads are forming. That's wonderful. Loads of block blockery. Broccoli, uh, cauliflower, I didn't like cauliflower, but they do, I didn't like turnip either, but they do, so I've grown them. Pigeons, little swines are getting me kale. They're having it, that kale, or the kale further up, but they're getting this one, so it must be the favourite one. So I've also just had a few beetroot in that were grown in the shed. Greenhouse. And my sweet corn's out, so there's about 40 plants. Yeah, sweet corn. So I plant them just like five or six inches apart and then about 12 to 18 inches between rows. That's how I do it anyway. And I get sweet corn, so I'm fine with that. Some more kale, spring onions, me carrots. See, I've got a few carrots growing up there. I've got some more beetroot behind, but in with the broccoli. Sweet peas. Them ones aren't doing as good as the other, but they'll, they'll come. They'll come. The onions are looking smashing. They're like any thick stalks for edible. They're not obviously giant ones. But I, they'll be like, fine. Happy with them. I've never even been able to grow onions properly, so I'm over the moon. The sternish and the fashions. God, these ones got killed back off the frost, but it's coming back for a second shot. As you can see, the deer has took a hit as well. 
with a frost, but they're surviving. Fruit trees, golden raspberries are getting raspberries on. And there's next year's stems coming through, so once the spring comes along, I'll get the sorry, autumn comes along, I'll get them out. Same as the black currant, because we stay in there. The unknown, meant to be blueberry bush, stay in there, and that one I'm going to pot into one of these bigger ones here. It's final, final position when we can get some uh, compost, that is. So that's the tour up to now. I haven't really been putting many videos up because I've just been in between work, I've just been coming up and getting on. So, uh, yeah, thanks very much. I'm absolutely out of breath here. See you all. Oh, next door. It's been a bit of a problem with him. I was apparently given the plot, but he's complained. He hadn't paid his, hadn't paid any rent since he got it. So they sent him a letter to kick him off. And he's taking it up with the council, saying people are fly-tipping. So nobody can use it. Oh, the bird just flew out there. So nobody can use it because he's saying... The allotment site's been fly tipping on his garden, which they haven't. It's just overgrown, it's just never been touched, so it looks crap. So, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. Because if he wins this fight, he'll be able to own it, and the council will just clear it away. But uh, I shall not go down without, down without a fight. I will own that allotment. <laughs> so, yes, thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you all later. Bye bye. Hey guys, as you can see, I've got two incubators now because that one failed. First, still going. One of them, we well, had a sort of assisted hatching, but it was pretty weak and treated on. Poor little Jake was but devastated, weren't you? <laughs> so, as much as we do, he was kind of gutted that it died. So, yeah, so these have been in seven days now. Can you lift it all the way up, Jake? There's, there's no wires. Wait, we? Oh, gone. So we've got another 16 here. And tonight I'm going to be candling them to see what's fertile and what's not. Just need to move them around because they, they feel lovely and warm to the touch, which is good compared to the other one. The other one was just running too cold. So, right, I got it back on some. The way out of me. Muscles from Brussels. Sure. Didn't drop them on the eggs, so I'll knock you. <laughs> What's that happen? <laughs> It'll be 16 minus 15 because of his clumsy, bloody fingers. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll show you them later. <laughs> we'll show you them later what the outcome is. So, here we are, we're just candling a few of the eggs. We've done four so far. This one. I'll show you at the end uh -huh, what we'll see, but we'll pass the next one. So see what this looks like. So we'll just drop it on the light. It's a bit difficult doing this with a phone in your hand, but yeah, see the veins? It's correctly over the light. It doesn't show very well, but I can see the veins just above the O there, so that's sweet. Next one. There's an egg sack, air sack at the bottom, which is a good sign. And yeah, there's a vein just around the bottom here. So that one's cracking. This one, I don't know why that's got an egg sat in the middle, but that is a, a so so. That one's a give me a chance. Uh, sorry, I've put the camera off. I'll show you what it looks like when it doesn't work. This is a one that's empty. How bright it is. Say it glows like a like a light bulb. There's absolutely nothing. No air sack. No nothing. That's that's for the bin.
Right. Do one more and then I'll turn the camera off because I need to make sure I give them a good check. There's an air sack on the bottom. See the white ring? And I can see we can see the embryo just, the just there above my thumb to the right of my thumb tip. So that's good. So we'll check the rest. I'll turn this camera off because I need to concentrate. Guys, it was just a quick update of what's been going on. Um, it won't be a short video because at this time with the plant now, there's not really much to record. So the videos will probably slow down a bit on my end. I'll show you updates as I go, but as in things getting changed in the allotment, it's just going to be watering and planting out. So, but I'll keep giving progression videos of vegetables growing, and uh, we'll. See how I get on. Excuse the camera wobbling, my arms shaking. So, thanks for subscribing and watching. And um, feel free to leave any comments or criticisms. I do take them, I uh, don't take them really, but you can put them in if you want. <laughs> All right, see you later. Thank you. Bye bye.